According to the United Nations, around one million species are currently threatened with extinction. Yeah, one of the big reasons, climate change. National climate correspondent David Schechter introduces us to a scientist who's been following a very unique lizard getting forced out of its own home. This guy. They're actually, uh, I love them. At just a few inches long. They look like they're smiling all the time. He's called a Yarrow's spiny lizard. Despite his tiny size, he has a huge story to tell about climate change and the very future of our planet. Everyone's got water. Is it bad that I'm already out of breath? We'll take it easy. I'm tagging along on a two hour hike with Dr. John Weens from the University of Arizona to count lizards and document how hotter temperatures are stressing them out. This is some serious stuff. Look, look it's about to flatten out. He says it's about to flatten out, but he's been saying that for an hour. Yarrow's lizards love the cooler mountain habitats across southern Arizona that are well above the hot desert floor. Because they can't take the heat down there, individual populations have been isolated from each other for millions of years in different mountain ranges. Just outside the town of Bisbee, a subpopulation of lizards has lived in the Mule Mountains for three million years. The one here around Bisbee is older than human beings. We anticipate that they're um, going to be entirely extinct here in the Mules by uh, next year, by 2025. They may be extinct already. Why does he think so? Well, in 2014, Weens and his colleagues could only find lizards in the Mule Mountains above 5,700 feet of elevation. Eight years later, he went back and the only lizards that hadn't died out were now above 7,100 feet. That left only a few hundred feet of mountaintop cool enough for them to survive. So they're almost out of room. A landmark report from the United Nations determined that one million species are threatened with extinction. Based on Dr. Weens's research, he believes that number is actually far higher, driven by the heat trapping gases that come from our cars, our factories, and our power plants. It's catastrophic. Um, as human beings sort of in, the, in the developed world, we all sort of have some responsibility for this. What do you do to look? We're gonna look on uh, top of rocks here. Um, a little sun is really helpful, but so they'll, they'll be out basking. They're very easy to find when, they're, when it's a sunny day. Does not seem to be anyone here. We'll need to confirm you come back here at least a couple more times, but it seems like this, this distinct lineage that's been separated for about three million years is, looks like it's gone now. It's gone. Yeah. Is that, is that disappointing to you? Well, yeah, of course. It's, Ultimately, what's the story? This is what the future is going to look like. This is, this is climate-related extinction. Yarrow's spiny lizard populations survive in other parts of Arizona, though many are struggling too. Ween says the death of this local population around Bisbee shows us how climate change is quickening the pace of extinction. It's not only happening over centuries or decades, it's happening now. David Schechter, CBS News, Bisbee, Arizona. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates more than 40 animal species are endangered or threatened in the Bay Area counties. That includes the green sea turtle and the California condor, for the entire state, that estimate is more than 100 species. And coming up tomorrow at 5, we'll take a closer look at how increasingly powerful hurricanes are putting birds across the U.S. at risk.